Let's begin by opening the app. To start, simply hit that plus button on the bottom left, and then I like to scan from camera. Then you place your document in front of you, and uh, don't just take a picture, just kind of move it back and forth until, see that yellow box? You want to make sure that yellow box is surrounding your document, and then you simply take a picture by hitting that circle, and you'll see a little preview of the scan you've just taken. We can take uh, more pages, right? So I simply add a second page that I want to add to my document. Once again, I just move it back and forth until it's framed properly. I hit that button right now that says one, telling me there's one file, and then now we have two. Um, I think I've decided at this stage I'm going to add a third file. All right, so this is some of the work that we're going to do for you. Once again, hit that button, and then let's add a fourth file just for fun, right? Because why not? So here's a fourth file. Once again, wait until it's framed, and then we have our photos. And when you're finished, hit that done that's right above the circle, and then it'll convert everything into a file that you can preview. So when you preview your file, you can swipe back and forth, look at the pages that you've done. Notice how they look a little different, but we'll deal with that. Right now, what I want to do is I want to add some photos. So if you hit that little plus in the bottom, simply add photos. You can take pictures of the photos if you want to, or you can just take it from your camera roll. So I'd, I just chose from the camera roll. Uh, I'm going to grab it from there. And then there we go. There's some pictures of some uh, media and some plates. Simply select them, hit the choose button in the bottom right and then it'll import them, right? And now you can swipe back and forth and see everything, uh, see all your, your working documents, so to speak. If you hit the top right, you'll see all your pages, right? And what you can do is just do a long press on any one of these pages, and then you can move them around and order the pages so then that it can be in the order that it is that you want it. So in order to edit, hit that magic wand in the bottom right, and then we're gonna start by recropping. So the crop is usually pretty good. Uh, but let's say there are certain parts of the page you don't quite want. You can simply hit the corner and then the little plus will allow you to either make the crop bigger or smaller. So then you can include more or a little bit less. Next thing I want to do is check out some of my filters. Notice how some of these pictures look like photos. Some of them look like black and white. So this one here was uh, looks a little different, right? So if you hit filters, notice that it's on the photo filter. And you can change these different filters. Uh, photo sometimes doesn't work as nice. Um, to be honest, I prefer the black and white filter. That's the one that seems to look the best, right? But basically, choose the filter that makes your page the most visible. I'm going to choose black and white. And the last thing I'm going to show is how we can edit our or rotate our pictures, right? You can click the format if you want to and change the picture size, right? But if you go to the Edit tab, you can then hit the left and right, rotate all your pictures to be a certain way, you know, because uh, if you take the picture the way you took it, I want to make sure that the pictures are right side up. So the last thing we need to do is change the file name. So hit the little X on the tabs and then uh, hit right above there where it shows your file name. The general default is going to be the date. And then you simply type in whatever you want to call it. In order to save it to a PDF, simply hit that button in the bottom right. And then that'll give you the option of either emailing it to yourself or saving it to your device. Uh, I prefer to email it and then go to my computer and then upload it to Lalima as one single PDF file. And if you ever want, the file will be there in the app in case you ever want to re-edit for future use.